Hey, this is Philip with Radford Coffee Company. I want to show you the quick and easy inverted method of doing the AeroPress coffee brewer. To do this, you're going to need, again, a few things. Your AeroPress coffee brewer, everything that comes in your box some kind of coffee, again, whether it be whole bean or pre-ground. If you do use whole bean, definitely get a good grinder though. You're gonna need a good source of hot water, your coffee mug, and a kitchen timer. So, to start this off, it's a very easy method. I'm gonna show you a double batch, whereas with the AeroPress prescribed method, I just did a single batch for you. So you're going to start with your plunger this time, and you're going to nestle your brew, your brewer on top of the plunger, even it out at the number four line. You're going to take your coffee, measure out two scoops using your, your nifty air press scoop. I pre-ground a little bit for us so we don't have to go through the process of a noisy grinder. Take your funnel, set it right there. Drop in your two scoops worth of coffee. Take the funnel out. Kind of shake that a little bit to let it even out. And then you're gonna take your hot water Drizzle that in there until you hit just a little bit below the rim of the coffee drawer. You're gonna take your paddle and using your kitchen timer as an aid, you're gonna stir for somewhere in the range of 10 seconds. You're gonna take your your filter basket, drop your filter in, and pop that on top. And then you're gonna take your air press and flip it over on top of your mug and start pressing. Again, you wanna aim for somewhere between 20 and 40 seconds of pressing down. Since I'm doing a double batch here, it's probably gonna land a little bit closer to the 40 mark, but definitely don't feel too worried if you end up a little bit over or under that time. And as always, as you push through, you're going to encounter a little bit of resistance until you hear it kind of sputter at the end. That sputter means that you're done. And you have enough coffee so if you were at about 12 ounces worth of water, you have around two cups worth of coffee. You can add some milk to that and make a decent little latte. Or, like an espresso, you can drink it as is. That's the inverted AeroPress method. That gives you a little bit more freedom to play around with your grind setting, with how much water you use, how long you let the um, water sit with the coffee. So you can play with some extraction rates and that kind of thing. This gives you a little bit more freedom. It's my preferred method of using the AeroPress, but definitely play with it for yourself and see what you enjoy. Thank you for checking out this video on how to use the inverted AeroPress method. Definitely check out our other video on the standard AeroPress method. You can find a link to that somewhere in here. And also visit our website where you can buy the AeroPress. We have a couple of accessories available for that, and we also have some other recipes that you can check out on how to maximize the use of your AeroPress coffee brewer. Thank you and you have a great day.